This playthrough is rated E10+. Today is the day we see the face of the enemy. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Summon Knight, a Swordcraft story. In the last episode, we were trying to, uh, with our friends and such, we went, we went and, well, basically it was Razzie that really pushed us in in the first place. We ran across a, you know, Erexa again, and Erexa, despite doing all this to save his sister, found out that there might have been another way and he couldn't handle it and uh, he put himself into an early sleep if you know what I mean yeah it, uh, this uh, happy overall happy-go-lucky game had some pretty dark moments kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy 6 if you're ever aware of that but uh, either way we can't just sit here forever we got a semi-final match to prepare for I'll have my semi-final match soon oh no why was Sanery crying the other day oh no oh no oh my oh my goodness I'm nervous Star? I know, I need to get my weapons ready myself as well, of course. Hello, Clairu. Hi, Sakuro. Uh, would you mind not entering my workshop unless you ask permission first? He's saying this to a craft for it. I guess he's so annoyed at people just walking in all the time. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm here to ask you out. Whoa, dude, hold on. I'm not into that. I, I like you as a friend. What? Are you joking? Well, I'm kidding about asking you out, but I would like you to come with me. It's not the major. I'd like to give you some training on a craft ward's duty. What, you expect me to win? It's not all fighting, you know. Oh, great. Let me guess, there's bureaucracy and red tape. Don't you want to know why Deglia... De, Should I just start trying to pronounce it actually correctly? Because I just say Deglia because I'm not sure. Was planning to attack the city of swords? What do you think will happen if you become involved in running the city without knowing what's going on? And why is it called the City of Swords? Don't you want to know the reason it's called that? Master Sakuro, he's so intense. It's unsettling. Rondu was attacked and Shinetsu's sword was stolen. Erexa is dead. I want this idiocy to stop. It's time to put an end to this. So are you coming with me? He's angry. What do I do? Nah, another time. Well, I have to prepare for the semi-final match. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, he's really scaring me. Star? Think about what he said. Dot dot dot. I'm very busy, but yes, I'll come with you. Stop glaring at me like that. I see. Yeah, it's a butt that mess situation. For those who don't know, butt that mess is a is a joke of people that say if you for choices in games, because in like I think it was from the original Dragon Quest that no matter what choice uh, you made, you had to say yes. And I think the ma that major joke comes from the uh, saving the princess is like. We have you have to marry me. No, but thou must. So, take this with you. It should help you prepare. Ah, the fourth level of the lava creek. So we can do a couple of uh, floors today if we want to, which I will. Okay, I'll be waiting for you at the docks. That sounds like a line from a noir film, doesn't it? Wait, they have movies in this in this world? Come see me when you're ready to go. That might be the pop culture reference that was very popular in the early '90s, early 2000s when it came to translation. Ah, he was scary. Okay, then let's go to the labyrinth for the time being to head to the port. You can head to the port now if you want to, but <clears throat> uh, we don't want to right now. Oh, actually, I want to start making stuff, although I'm going to have to go to the labyrinth anyway because I'm actually a bit out of materials. And I will be breaking down some old weapons since I won't need them anymore, so yeah, let's break down this red lantern, get 20 fire, mini fan, get 25 uh, wind, 35 wind for a large fan. Wind Fossil gets 40 apiece. Yeah, we got... These were nice to get from the last episode. Emerald Megatama, 45 apiece. Excellent. Too bad we just don't have any good water ones, though. Gale, 50. Or Gale or 50 wind. Yeah, I got plenty of wind. We're just a little behind on water. All right, let's get some core par parts. They'll give us 90 uh, lightning. Real lightning! Let's see. Okay. Let me go ahead. I'm going to start breaking down some weapons. Now that I'm going to not use as, as many as I used to. Let's get, let's get rid of this bastard sword. Not gonna use that, and you don't need that to get the uh, the elemental version. You just have to uh, put. You just have to try to make the sword, but have enough mystic ore in your inventory. So I'm not using the crystal sword, so I can break that down. Because <clears throat> eventually, later weapons are be better overall. So there's no reason to keep older blades. So unless you need them for like um, uh certain quests and stuff like that, but I'll, I can show you which ones need quests. Let's see. I don't think we need the Yari. I'm just trying to get more. Actually, I'm really just trying to get water. Uh, let's see. 
Well, let me break this one down. We're about to run out of... Oh, by the way, if your materials go over 9999, or 999, then you lose them, by the way. So, for those who are curious. <clears throat> let's see, let's get rid of this pursuit motor. Man, I got way too much lightning, not enough to really spin it on. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's craft a weapon. I want to I want to get a certain drill type. Although, I'll use this drill that we're about to make anyway. So, uh, this drill was giving us a broad brawn. Uh, 27 lightning, 46 fire, 21 wind, water, and 72 wind gets us. <clears throat> Deep Met Giga Turbine. We'll go ahead and equip that. But that's not the one I want. Well, I want it, but I, I'm not going to use it as an item. So let me go ahead and equip this, uh, this uh, turbo one. Awesome. Get a little bit of extra damage. All right, let's go talk to Braun. Oh, yeah, let's see how our uh, <clears throat> fellow uh, blacksmiths are doing. Uh, I lost. I finally lost. My dream to become a craft lord has ended in failure. The shame. Sorry, dude. Yeah, you thought we were going to fight each other in the finals, huh? No, sorry, sir. Not, not doesn't have a name. Actually, you did give us her name. I just already forgot. Sandra is going to have a quarterfinal match. When I saw her, I wished her luck. But she ignored me. Does she hate me? Yes. <clears throat> nah, she's classic Sundari. Yeah, I really don't like that trope. It's it's fun. At, at first, it's kind of uh, kind of a sweet, but then at, at a later point, it's like, all right, stop it. Hi, Claire. You've been doing great. I hope I get to watch you in the finals. Yeah, you will. I'm the main character. There's no spoiler in that. You made it into the semifinals. I feel sorry for Razzy, though. Yeah, she lost pretty pretty early. Sanery's going to have her quarterfinal suit. I'm not worried about her at all. She's awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> Why by Pinsel, you gotta take it in a semifinal match. I'm doing a survey. Looking for the results of next month's Weister Weekly. Why do I call it weekly if it only comes out once a month? Well, I write really slow. Oh, I see, that's true. You must know your opponent is who your opponent is first before you can choose your weapon. Take your time, but not too long. I've got a deadline. I know who I'm gonna fight, but it's pretty obvious who you're gonna fight in the semifinals. <coughs> it's also pretty obvious to who, who you're gonna fight in the finals, too, but. Anywho, Sot to Braun. Hey, Claire, you want a new technique, didn't you? You can try this. All right, we got a new sword. Awesome, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, Sakura stopped by here just a few minutes ago. He's playing something, isn't he? Yeah, but he didn't tell me anything about it. Oh, no? Is that right? Well, he does take good care of you. I bet everything's okay. Stars! Oh, sorry, I know Claire can depend on you, Zantek. But Claire, if something bad happened to you, how would I explain it to Almaris? You need to be real careful. Well, you, any excuse to be next to her, huh? Anyway, <clears throat> let's get another drill technique. That's the item we want. Hey, Clearu, you have your semifinal match soon, right? I've seen Master Soccer out. Do you know your opponent for the semifinal yet? No, I see. <clears throat> he didn't tell me. <clears throat> so, we have to uh, figure it out. But like I said, I already know. So, anyway, let's create that drill. This will be used to get an element. So... 80, 80 lightning, 24 fire, 52 water, 45 wind gets us. The terror rotor. We're going to use this to get an item. So, And then let's go ahead and make that sword. Yeah, I think we have enough material to make the sword, but I won't be able to make the elemental uh, buff of it because I do want to get that. But I'll, I'll, be, I'll be going to the labyrinth so I can do some mystic ore grinding while I'm there. Because I need 10 more, I believe, so. Anyway, if we put this together, we get the Gazanto Sword. Heavy blade capable of chopping bows. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the the drill description. My bad. Uh, the Giga Turbine is a fuel efficient drill, and the Terror Rotor is a silent operation drill. All right, anyway, let's continue on as we go get some extra uh, techniques that you can get while you're here. Let's go ahead and use that Terror Rotor while we're here. Let's go to the Drill Lover's house, which is, if you don't remember, is in the southwest on the water here. She's trying to make a drill, but it's not going well for her. Oh, get, let me guess. I'm almost finished, but there's something missing. Oh, that drill you have there. Is that, that a terror rotor? I've been looking for all looking all over for one. Would you give me one of those? Yeah, sure, I'll give you the drill. I'll drill you. Thank you. Now I can get a clearer picture of how to make my own drill. It's a drill. How many versions of a drill do you need? Oh, please take this technique in return. No, I insist. No, I insist. Anyway, we got an axe, an elemental axe technique. 
Yeah, there's certain techniques you can only get by doing side quests. Uh, a lot of elemental techniques can be gotten by just uh, uh, do basically making the basic weapon and then making the weapon again with a uh, uh, enough mystic ore in your inventory. I'd like to have a cap, but I'd be all warm if it fell. I'd be all warm if it fell asleep in my arms. Yeah, well. Uh, let's see what the shop has at this point. Let's see. I don't think there's anything major, if I recall. Nah, I don't think so. This chapter didn't really have any major. How's business? I really appreciate there being an NPC to tell me that. All right. Anyway, let's go to the cat lover's house. My cat's not here right now. There have been a lot of earthquakes lately. I hope it'll be okay. Eh, maybe. Depends on where you live. My husband's uniform is covered with scorch marks because of all the sparks he makes while forging. He says it's a badge of honor for him, but he doesn't have to do the laundry. Oh, you have bird marks in your clothes. You've been staying too close to your forge, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You can do make your clothes all dirty, but if you don't have to clean them, you don't care about that stuff. Our cat's been spending a lot of time outside the house recently. I wonder where she's been going. Well, let's find out. Let's go to the harbor. And don't, don't worry, the harbor going to the harbor does not immediately uh, lock you into the story. Because if you talk to Sakura, you go to the plot. But yeah, which we can ignore him. Me how? Mer. They seem to be good friends. Yeah, all we have to do is talk to these cats. And then go back to the old man. And tell him what happened. He's, he's, he's found a friend. Or something else. Our cat's been spending a lot of time outside the house recently. I wonder where she'd be going. Playing with other cats. Really? My kitty was at the port with a tomcat? Oh, I see, I see. Thanks for telling me. This is a technique I found under my bed. Take it with you. Uh, do I want that technique? Oh, it's just a fist technique. Okay. Right. Anywho, so let's head on to Middle Weister to get another technique. Well, actually, sorry. Not, not get it yet, but we're setting up to get a technique eventually. It will pan out, folks. You know that one lady who's, uh... Uh, act, the axe lover's wife who keeps you know complaining about her husband all the time well we need to listen to her again so it will pan out actually it's not really that worth it but uh, if you're trying to 100% this game for all the techniques you want to do it oh you're the one who took the time to listen to me the other day can I bend your ear some more go ahead every one of my husband's techniques is for an axe he's so single minded why don't you make other weapons I ask him you're a craft knight start improving yourself I wish he'd get some passion in his work then we'd be more successful. Brr. Oh wow, I feel so much better after venting a little. Thanks for listening. Well, I'll see you later. All right, anyway, let's head back to, uh, let's head to the labyrinth and get some labyrinth thing on. Yeah, let's see. Where's my equipment? There. Eh, I can always switch in battle. I want to use the drill to prove its technique. So. Oh, nope, not this way. That's for the tournament, and we're not doing that. The, the, this, the final, the finale, the semifinal is not today. That is next episode. All right. Anyway, let's head to Labyrinth 26, and we need to get to the 29th floor. So uh, I will, uh, I will meet you there because I got to, I think it was the 28th floor before. So, all right, I'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. Uh, we made it to the 20th floor, and now we can open the door here because of the key that uh, Sakura gave us. So, oh, there were some uh, boxes over there, but I broke them by accident already. So, all right. Actually, now that now that we've, uh, I've actually now finally got access to the uh, enemy table, so now I can actually look up uh, um, enemy specifics. So, let me uh, see. For evil spirits here, they are level 31. They're elemental of lightning, and uh, uh, they can drop. Uh, conductor rods and thunder bracelets uh, as their possibility. So, uh, th conductor rods are the most likely, and then uh, drop number two is the harder one, the equipment, thunder bracelet. Uh, and then gel slimes. Sorry if you see typing on the background because I'm using another monitor to uh, uh, lift this up. So, I should have done this from the beginning, but it took me a while to find, find enemy tables for this. So, alright, so gel slimes are level 31, they're neutral elemental. And they can draw bottomless cups and gem rings. So, uh, you know the gem ring already, and then the bottomless cup is a item for breaking down. All right, let's go to the stairs and head on to floor number twenty-nine. Okay, sniper heads. Oops. Sniper heads are neutral elemental. They're level thirty-two. They can drop fire starters and nothing else. Okay. 
I don't need to fight them, so. Oh yeah, in between, uh, while I was going to drop into this floor, I uh, ended up uh, um, fighting a couple of uh, uh, spell weapons, so I got uh, a few uh, Mystic Wars while we were here, so. Alright, let's see if we can get... Alright, got a, a one new enemy. Uh, well, we got the... Uh, actually, have we fought Lycians before? But anyway, we got gliders and Lycians uh, or whatever. So, alright, let me... Uh, maybe it's Lysa Aeons. Uh, anyway, they are level 38. They're neutral elemental. They can drop big fur balls and fang necklace. I know what their attack and defense are, but I feel like it's kind of pointless for me to go over those details. So I'll just tell you the stuff that's important. Um, they're uh, gliders at level 36. They are wind elemental, and they drop feather ornaments. And basically, they do the whole bird thing, you know, try to hit you with wind and all that. Actually, probably better fight the uh, uh, this guy first. Try to weaken him. Oof! Ouch. Yeah, they hit like a uh, little wind stuff at you, and uh, uh, there we go. All right. Should gain us a level. Yep. Level for Clayru. Alright, um... Just trying to think I want to keep my attack up or get my defense to go a little bit. Eh, let's do defense and then, you know, put a... I have a weird habit of, like, trying to even out numbers. I don't know why. I guess... I mean, I'm, I'm a little... I guess small tender. I'm a little OCD when it comes to stuff like that. And it doesn't mean anything. There's not like, oh, you must have this stat at this thing. I'm like, no, it's just... Yeah, for whatever reason, it's just a habit of mine. I, I can't, like, I can't help myself. Oh, we got a new enemy here. Okay, never mind. I was about to skip this fight, or I was about to do it off screen, but got a new fight. The Lazardios. Guy that looked like a Pokemon, or like a Lucario. Actually, they look like Lucario. I wonder if that's, that's the, that's why they translate. Well, actually, I'm trying to think. Did the game where Lucario, was he, was he out by the time this game came out? Maybe. I'm not an expert on Pokemon, so I don't know bits and pieces. Anyway, look, uh, well, cardio. It looks like he's doing cardio, actually, with his fist like that. Anyway, he's level 37. He's neutral elemental. Uh, and he can drop wind fossils and r the wristband. So, uh, watch out for this guy. He has a wind-up ability. Yeah, as you can see there, that can do a decent amount of damage. And I might just cast a lightning on the birds if it hits. They have to usually be pretty close. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this guy does like a wind-up punch on you. But luckily, if you hit him just right, you can you can stun him. All right, I think that's a level for Zantac. He gets the Storm Wind ability. I'll right, we'll try to show that off eventually. Before we go down the stairs, there is a item we want to get. All right, God. Oh, uh, I don't think I've shown this enemy. Okay, another new enemy. Halloweeno. Halloweeno. This is Halloween. Everybody make a scene. Trick or treat. I'm sorry, I forgot the whole trick. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. He's level 35, element of fire. He can drop the red seed and pumpkin bracelet. Um, he has an overpowered... His big thing is he, other than being similar to his cousins, he has an overpowered flamethrower attack. Yeah, see that? Don't want to get caught in that thing. Don't want to get caught in that bad boy. But that's the big thing about him. Now you just want to drill him all day long. Yay. All right. Let's see. I ended up getting another gem ring from those guys. From the slimes. All right. We're done with that guy. Nothing there. All right. Let's go in the secret door. Now we got a fang necklace dropped by the Lycaeons. Let's see what that does. I've forgotten, I've forgotten like most of the, um, what each, uh, item does, because I don't get them too often, so. Uh, not bad, uh, 18 attack and, uh, 25 agility. Too bad the ancient ring I have is better, but you can always sell it or whatever. Or break it down. Break it down, break, break, break it down, break it down. Get these boxes here. All right, inside we get a summon charm. Now right, let's, uh, get out of here. Ooh, we, uh, well, actually, have I shown off killer lances? I think I have. Whoa. At least I, hmm, maybe I haven't, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, leave this in anyway. I think I have shown off killer lances, but, uh, but I can go over him really quick, just for, in case I have. So, sorry, 
I only record these like once a, once a week, so sometimes I forget. Anyway, he's level 37, he's neutral, and he can drop Mystic Ores. So, but you're guaranteed to drop multiple Mystic Ores while you do that. His big thing is, is the stabbing uh, motion, so you just have to be careful about that. Yeah, very nice. I should be close to 20 already. Yeah, so I won't have to do much grinding off screen if I get lucky again. Alright, down we go. Down, down to Goblin Town. So, we should be... Uh, well, not this level. The next level, we should be getting a tele another teleporter. Man, those guys are doing a number on me in terms of damage. Gotta heal. Gotta protect myself. Yeah, I dropped a big fur ball from the Lycaon, so... It's always nice when I get material drops. I mean, if I really wanted to get drops from them, I would, uh... Oh, there's... Man, I don't, I don't want to go back for those, so... Um, if I really want drops, I would, uh, equip the hammer, but my strength isn't high enough to actually kill stuff with it. Anyway, well, I'll have the teleporter here. That's really the big thing, but I want to keep going down to as far as we can. That way I don't have to mess with it later. And I can show That way I can just cut. Alright, gained a level for Clearu while finding those, uh, gel slimes. Alright, let's put a couple of points into agility. Need to beef that up a little bit. Oh, we got uh, new enemies here, uh, Defenders and Missile Heads. Whoa, we're running into the robot world of, uh, of uh, Summon Knight, which there is. I forgot what the robot world's called off the top of my head, but... All right, Defender. Sorry for the loud beep there, the computer. Uh, Defender, it is level 38. It is neutral. It can drop magnetic ore and steel bracelets. Uh, it's been, And that's the big old uh, mech thing right there. It has a slow-range laser shot, uh, but it can be interrupted at most times, so... All right, and it has a like a, I think it also has a sub range, uh, sub machine gun like at close range, similar to the uh, uh, gunner heads, missile heads. They are level thirty six. They're neutral. They can drop uh, oni hibachis, and they have a side uh, missile move that goes at an arc. And they also have the machine gun straight fire from them. Oop, did you see that little missile? Oop. All right, let's see if we can actually smack. Uh, if I could hit them with lightning. Do some damage to them. Ah! They were just flying too high. Oh no. I can do a decent amount of damage to them. It's just, uh, you know. There we go. Alright, uh, there's the stairs down, so, oh, yeah. Like, uh, there was there was no actual items there. All it was was just barrels and stuff like that, but I can do that stuff off screen. If, if, if there's anything there, so. Uh, okay. It was. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. There was an item. Never mind. I'm looking at my wrong notes here, so. I will fight you guys later. By that, I mean if it randomizes that, so. Never mind. I was looking at my wrong notes again, so. Yeah, I need to go over here. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Alright, after that fight, we get a level for Xantech. Gains more spell levels and all that. Ooh, small tender, nice. Alright, there's the chest, yeah. Yeah, once again, I'm taking a beating from this place. And we got a med kit for our efforts. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you want to heal regularly. Alright, I got another gem ring for those gel slimes, so I could probably break those down or sell them. Alright, we got a bombless cup in it. Well, bombless cup doesn't matter, so it's slow low down the down the pile, that doesn't matter, so. All right, this level does not have anything, so. I mean, other than barrels. So if you want to go straight to the exit, I wouldn't blame you. You never really gain, uh, gain those experience points. Need those levels. All right, nothing there, for, of course. Yeah, I might gain quite a few levels before this is over. Small tinder. All right, gained a level for Clairu. Let's uh, put, now let's put some points into, you know, put points into agility every other level it seems like. But, uh, I mean, if you really wanted to go about this, it'd probably be better just to put a lot of it into attack and maybe only a minimal amount into agility just so you're not super slow. But I like kind of evening out my abilities. All right, anyway, here we get. A Quitsum Potion and a Quitsum Potion. So. Alright, then one more floor. Yeah, 
All right, cooling fan there, and then a healing spot. Awesome. It's locked. All right, I think that's it. No, I I, I think I missed a treasure on the previous floor. Uh, let me go back. Let's see. Cause yeah, I got the. Let's see, I already got the item, so I got nothing there. Okay, I'll let me run away for the rest of the fights. Yeah, I think I, I miss. I was not paying attention to my notes properly. Man, I've been I've been doing that a lot today. I've been messing up my my notes specifically. So okay, it is. Yeah, over here. Yeah, I can, I'm gonna fight these guys on the way back anyway. So yeah, let's get some barrels over here. in here. We'll run away. That way I don't have to edit it out. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I thought I missed one. Yeah, when I got to the bottom, I saw the locked door. I'm like, oh wait, I messed up the floors again. So, alright, there's a clots and potion here as well. So, alright, so we've gone as far as we can. So, unfortunately, I do not have the material ore that I need. So, I need to... Or, mystic ore, sorry. So, I need to... Um, see how close are you to leveling? Okay. I might just try to see if I can find another... Um, killer weapon or a spell weapon and just get the ore from them. But either way, I'll meet you back at the uh, um, shop. So, see you in a moment. Alright, we're back after clearing that out. So, I was able to get one more killer weapon uh, before I got here. So, I got to 20. So, let's go ahead and make that weapon. Oh yeah, we could break down what we got to while we're here. I got quite a few items. Let's see. Oh, the gym rings... Uh, Break down, uh, at least for a decent amount of wind, uh, water, at least. So I can break those down. I'll break down all the regular stuff, though. God. It's weird to win bottomless cups from, uh... Yeah, the big fur ball's a big one. But bottomless cups, when they get so little at this point. Actually, I could have hold, held on to that. I don't have to grind these down. Um, because, obviously, like I said, when you hit 909, it, uh... At this point, it, uh, you lose, you lose that, so... So I'll just save it for later. All right, is that it? Okay. That should be enough to make the weapon I want. Let me make sure though, really quick. Let me save it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, save that one. All right. I got sword. We want to make the uh, yeah, Miss Score twenty, which gets us. All right, we get the Goranto, uh, fortified with the wind element. So, okay, and for this, for where we're gonna go, I suggest uh, a drill, uh, the Goranto. And um, uh, a spear weapon, or a spear or axe weapon, no matter what you, whatever you prefer. So, probably one that's probably neutral is probably better. But all right, let me go and rest. Don't want to make that mistake again. So, all right, let's head on to the port and harbor and go with Sakura to our next destination. So, where are we gonna go this time? Well, the same place we go every day. Where? Oh, I was gonna make a joke about taking over the world, but that doesn't really work with what I said. So. Hello there, are you ready to go? Yep, let's go. Alright then, but let me explain our quest before we get going. Okay, our destination is Fort Burana. We've You've heard of it, haven't you? <laughs> a dead fortress, right? Uh, no. Oh man, I can't remember, sorry. It's okay. Anyway, the origin of Burana can be traced back 200 years, and I don't think I need to know more, know the hi complete history of the place. I see. Uh, he looks disappointed. The Marana was conquered by the Deglians. In order to keep control of the area, they established a military outpost. This outpost is known as Fort Marana. That wasn't very long. And now we're heading off to Marana, aren't we? But that's right. I've received some information on that the Gold Guild is, uh, sells weapons to Deglia. Well, the fact that they were uh, buying cheap weapons and selling on the uh, cheap weapons off the market is high, high cost items, you know, it wouldn't surprise me that they'd sell these guys too. I would like to investigate this further and determine the guild's involvement. That's why we're going. But how does this relate to avenging Erexa? Avenging? Didn't Erexa, you know, 
off himself? So how are we avenging him? Like, I don't... Okay, whatever. You'll see later on, but we must be off. Starved? Young master, please, wait, please. Hi, Beryl. Thanks for everything. The other... Hi, Beryl. Thanks for everything the other day. Hey, Sakuru, I'm coming with you. If this problem is caused by something the Gold Guild did, then the blame falls on me. Okay, you may come. What? Are you sure it's okay? Mr. Nigel, I would like you to tell Ver Beryl's father, Liberty, that his son will be fine with us. So now, please excuse us. Okay, let's go together. Oh, I forgot to give him a different voice. Wait, Master Sakuro, young Master Beryl! Fort Marana. You have the same ship as my own master. Yes, it's rare to find a ship with a workshop inside. Alright, we'll be at the site of Marana's dock fairly soon. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. Because the thing would be, you know, wouldn't the anvil and the, the forge be heavy and fire and a wooden ship? You know, not smart. Hmm. They found us. I don't know how they did, but they... It's the Libyans! No. Uh, what's wrong? That's a Daglian patrol boat. Patrol boat? It's a ship that patrols the waters near the Daglian border. Yes, that's what... It's in the name. Anyway. You usually don't see those ships on this route, which means there's something unusual going on. Hmm. That is it. What are we going to do? They found us, haven't they? Yes, but fortunately, the fort is right over there. It's not too far off to swim. What? What? We're, we're going to we're going to swim? Yes. So what? What about Zantac? He can float, by the way. See, you're already floating in the air. That's not the same. They all float, by the way. They all float. Don't tell me that you don't know how to swim. My weapons will rust. Wait a minute. My weapons will rust. You can't swim. Yes, I can, but... Then there's no problem. Your weapons and tools will be all right if you take care of them later on. Or are they going to get rusty with just a little water? Are you forging substandard weapons? Uh, okay, I'll go. Thanks. Can I count on you two? Try to reach the fort while I lure away the pat uh, patrol boat, okay? Alright. In we go. Oh, that already happened. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay, Zantec? Star! I don't see the Gold Guild sh uh, ship docked here. That means... That info was wrong? The info Sakuro ha had was wrong? No way, Sakuro isn't that stupid. He's a craft lord. Have you met some of the other craft lords? Like the, the guy who's selling to the Deglians and Erexa? I mean, they were kind of stupid in a way. That's true. Alright then, we need to go and find the person in charge of this fort and ask him about the guild's involvement. Uh, if they're doing bad things, wouldn't that be a bad thing to do? Because we'd get caught or whatever? Alright, we'll head up there. Why? The person who runs the fort must live high places. Oh, he sits in his tower like a wizard, huh? Nah, it's just game. It, it, he's breaking the fourth wall with game mechanics, so. Yeah, look at this place. All over the place, so. Alright, well, anyway, we have to head inside to help uh, Bear also. Alright, so we want to go. Look at this place. A key there. What is this place? Whoa, what the? Uh, huh. What is going on here? It's all over the place, man. Hey, we got a new enemy here. The Squi Squeebolt and Poppers. Hey, anyway, Squeebolt. They are level 35. They are Lightning Elemental. Uh, they can drop Gold Megatomas. And they have a Lightning Attack that can hit, multi that can hit you multiple times, so be clear about that. Let's see, Poppers, they are level 34, they are Lightning Elemental, and they have they can drop small generators. Uh, they're pretty easy, they have a short range electrical attack. So let's switch to our new sword. Since it's Wind Elemental, it'll be very effective against... Uh-oh. You know, there's the attack. Alright, there's the squid. Uh, whoa! Oh, I was actually not trying to get so close. Uh oh, ow! Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage to them because it breaks their elemental attribute, so. Yeah, look at this place. It's a. It's a. It's a mess, that's for sure, so. Look at that. 
Uh-oh, we got a new enemy here. Strikers! Okay, Striker. They are level 34. They are lightning elemental. They can dro also drop golden megatomas. Uh, they are floating enemy. Um, so, same thing as uh, previous enemies there. I mean, they don't have any nasty attacks, if that's what you mean. So, I guess I could have let them attack. Oh, ow, ow, ow. There we go. And might as well use the sword to build up its uh, uh, technique so it can be a little bit more durable. So, At least for fighting the main enemies anyway. So, you know, it's like, a, looks like this place resets itself. Let's see what happens if we go through the other side, though. But yeah, it's a, this is like a really mechanically enclosed, enclosed uh, floor or whatever. So, all right. Huh, there's a elevator or something there, but there's a save spot, so, yeah. Anyway. Alright, so, yeah, we need to go through go through this level. Yeah, it's a bit weird because of the way it works. It's a, um... You basically have to follow the, uh, the directions, and you're trying to get up. But you can only go through cer certain doorways on a certain thing. We don't have a key to, um... Uh, uh, what was I thinking of? Well, anyway, so, okay. Okay, we want to get this amulet here. All right, let's break a couple of uh, blue flies. Red lantern. All right. Yeah, on the. But yeah, if you go outside and do the whole, you know, move it around or whatever, it'll. Yeah, you have to eventually go through the doors uh, to get to the top of this place. Because as you saw, when I kept going through the the teleporters or whatever, Ooh, we got a kicker pressure. Man, the Garanto has really low durability for this. Like, it, I, I almost ran out of zero by the time I finished the battle, so. Alright, so. Was there another door here? Yeah. Alright. I'm learning to block. I can not take damage sometimes. There we got a mini fan there. Alright. Kicker potion. And we get a conductor rod, so. Man, we got quite a few of these. Yeah, we're gonna have enough lightning elemental by the time we're done with this place. Okay, so that's that floor. Let's go to the third floor. Sort of, anyway. Okay, there we go. Third floor. Alright. Let's uh, see if anything's here. Nope. Hey, Beryl, have you found him yet? Not yet, he must be on the highest floor. Yeah, maybe. By the way, I wonder how Master Sakura is doing. I don't think we have to worry about him. He is a craftoid, remember? If we're okay here, then there's no way he could be in danger. Star? Yeah, it's hard to imagine him in danger. I think he reached the port by now. We should go there then. We should go to the port then? You say so. But I want to keep exploring, so we'll keep going up, so. Alright, nothing there, so... And if we kept, uh... Yeah, if we kept trying to go through those outside doors, we would, you know, have to go back down, so... Alright, let's see... Man, I just realized I say, uh, uh, let's see a lot when I talk. I think it's when I don't have... I don't particularly can't think of anything to say, so I say that instead. Oh, we ended up getting a gold Megatama from one of those guys. Nice. I got a mini fan there. Blue fan. Alright, we gained a level for a Clairu. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it's uh it's people who have don't have trouble speaking or don't have aren't very good with like keeping co um, a coherent thought. Um will say, um and that's or they'll have a phrase that they keep doing over and over again, like um and I'm bad about that too, unfortunately. It's kind of different hearing like how different people talk, because you almost never hear um from people like half the time. At least that, well, from what I've noticed anyway. Like, if, I mean, it, it happens every once in a while, but if you hear like professional speakers or people who are used to talking, they won't say um and stuff like that regularly. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not a very good speaker. So, hey, anyway, we got a new enemy here, Tumblr. Not that other place. Just Tumblr, so we don't have to worry about. It. I should turn down the volume of my of my PC so it doesn't like just blare out like that. Anyway, it's level 37, lightning, 
uh, can drop the Ma Maka Worm Bolt, and it has a crossover attack and combo uh, on its back that can uh, uh, make short work of you, so be careful about that. So, all right, let's, uh, yeah, look at that. I'm trying to see if I can, well, I'm trying to run over it, but apparently that's not, there we go. Yeah, if we can get behind it, it makes this fight a lot easier. There we go. Not too shabby. Got a red lantern. Oh, come on. Come on. Smack it. Smack it with a hammer. Actually, I think I want to go the other way, but... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this place gives a decent amount of experience, too. And the fact that I'm a little under... Yeah, we're getting quite a, quite a... Oh, we got new enemies here. I was actually about to skip this. Uh, bolt Strikers and Jumpers. So, let's... Bolt Strikers, they're level 35. They drop, uh, or they're electric. They drop the cl uh, Klutz and Potion. So, that could be nice if you can get them to do that. But, unfortunately, that's not guaranteed. And, really, the only thing that um, guarantees drops in this game is, or at least highly increases your drop rate, is using the hammer. That's pretty much it. And, random luck. Anyway, jumpers are level 35, they're lightning elemental, they can drop electric stones. And they're faster than the um, their counterparts before. I believe they even have the same attacks, they're just faster, that's all. Oh, maybe I should show off. Yeah, that's that's its attack. It can also smack you as well. But if you block it, then I can show off any more attacks. Yeah, it has a, like a little has a lightning thing and a, like a little beam. Very sci-fi. There we go, level up. Learns the Enchant Wind ability, so now we can put wind on our weapon, so... Well, I guess I didn't have to make... Well, if I... You know, I was about to say, I wouldn't have to make it if I didn't have the Garanto, or if I didn't have the Garanto, I could still do it, but the thing is, it's still magic, and you can only cast it so many times, so... Then we get a Conductor Rod here, and... Yeah, the tech on my weapon's going up pretty pretty efficiently, too. I'm even able to finish off some of those poppers within a single combo reel. We need to get a class of Potion there. Like seriously, what, what? Why was the game thinking? Why was the game thinking we needed an item that increased our uh, our uh, enemy encounters? The game's enemy encounters is already high enough as it is. Seriously, I, sw I swear I only took a handful of steps. Just, let's see, I'm taking only a handful of steps. I'm immediately in combat. This is getting a little ridiculous. I wish there was a thing that turned down encounters. You know. All right, next floor. Okay, so all right. I'm trying to like to Okay, there's the chest there. Oh, we got a new enemy here. I was about to not say anything. Uh Spar Squid. Uh it is level 36. Uh, it's lightning elemental and uh, can drop magnetic orbs. We haven't gotten it to drop those yet, unfortunately. But basically it's the same thing as its counterpart. It does the exact same thing. But since our magic web uh, uh, our um, weapons getting pretty high in tech points. Uh, I'm doing a lot more damage. How is my tech points anyway? Oh, I've already hit 100. I think I've, I think I maxed it out at this point. Some weapons have a higher tech range than 100. Uh, there's a few unique weapons uh, that can you can get it to like 250 or something like that. Or two. Let's see. Yeah, like the novice knife stuff like that. You can get like really high. The core parts. Probably should just not mess with these those barrels anymore. All right, gained a level for Claru there. Yeah, I think I'm I'm probably could start putting it just straight into attack and damage at this or defense at this point, just because of the whole. Uh, my agility is pretty high at this point. I mean, these high encounters are kind of making it hard for me to form a sentence sometimes because I swear I'm, I'm immediately because I'm trying to think of a, something to talk about and then all of a sudden like the the enemy cuts in and I'm paying attention to that and then depending on how things go I might have lost my my place or my concentration we get electric stone there like I mean it's an RPG but it's an RPG so you expect um, the random encounters but go oh, lawyers sometimes I'm just like ah, stop it Stop just for a second, please. But anyway, let's go up again to the next floor, so. Alright. Alright, 
there's the chest there. I right, gained a level up for Xantech there. More spell levels. Yeah, I almost just want to, don't want to start talking because I'm like, uh, uh. Anyways, we got another gold Megatama for that, so at least there's that. Yeah, the Megatomas give you a bunch of uh, materials from different um, sections. Light electric stone. Man, we're maxed out electricity. All right, let's go outside. And I think that's all there is in this. Maybe gain too many levels, but then again, if I'm getting bonus points, it means I'm, uh, um... Yeah, if I'm getting bonus points, it means I'm a little under-leveled, so, for this, so... Let's see. I'm 39, though. It's not like they're, they're enemies I'm fighting are that much lower than me, so, I don't know. It just seems like it. Anyway, save spot there, so... Alright, actually, probably be a good place to save it. Again, just in case. And we're, we're almost done with this place, so. Oops. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Just gotta go around. Not that I'm trying to avoid the barrels, it's just, uh, you know, with all these random encounters and everything like that. And the fact I'm getting pretty, uh, not very lucky with a lot of these, so. Yeah, most of the stuff is lightning in here. Well, then again, I'll always need lightning later on when I've, when I've actually used it, but, um... But yeah, lightning's like the one I've... But yeah, lightning's the element I've got the most of, you know. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at my notes there. Okay, we need to go around. Alright, gain a level for Clary again. Um... I can afford to start just pumping into the damage. Uh, I know why the encounters are so high. It's because most of the dungeons in this place are pretty short. Uh, and we get electric stone and a caught some potion there. But still, it's still hard to like pay attention to the commentary. Probably makes you think I'm having an aneurysm every time I'm talking because I'm not finishing a sentence properly in between cuts. But I will finish a sentence one day. All right, anyway, let's get to the here. We got a heal thing. Awesome. All right, there should be two items in here, so. Let's see. Yeah, sure, let's try it. Yeah, of course not. Oh, well, yeah, core parts. Yeah, I kind of wish I could get other parts other than core parts, you know what I mean? Yeah, if I was a bit under level before, I should be fine now. Just because of the whole gain so many levels from this Ooh, Red Lantern. Finally, something different. I mean, I, I've gotten a Red Lantern before. You know, Blue Flash, there we go. Oh, well, alright. Glad, I'm glad I actually smashed these. I was thinking about not doing that. So, Kicker Potion. Gold Megatomic. And yeah, we've gotten quite a few of those Gold Megatomas. Alright, so anything I gained a level. Sorry, I, I, I was just kind of... I had gamers mode on, so I wasn't even talking. Yeah, again, Zante gained a level. Now, when I say spell levels, what I mean is just it just means that certain, you know, the uh, how many times you can cast certain spells goes up. Unfortunately, I don't remember every what every level does, like what gets them a, a, an increase. So you'll have to forgive me. Anyway, now that we're at the top of this tower, we go sit in our tower. Pharaoh, what's the matter? Uh, it looks like nefarious deals are going on here, so... I'm sorry, Master Lubert. We haven't caught those three yet. They must still be somewhere in the fort, though. Hmm. I'm sorry, sir, but I think that even if you did try... <laughs> what are you thinking, sir? Why are you in such a hurry? They're already in the fort, trapped like rats. We can catch them in one fell swoop. That's true. They must be getting tired, running from our troops. Now I, I found a heal portal, just a heal thing right over there. I'm fine. So you can take the credit for their capture. Uh, that is my strategy. Oh, Master Uber, that's brilliant. Brilliant. I know. So what are we doing with these things? Oh, yes, we've already started moving them inside. Good. Now, why don't we invite those drowned rats down here? What the? Stars? Uh-oh, we've been found. What are we going to do? We've got to speak to them eventually. Come on. But they want to capture us or kill us or whatever, so... Hmm, I know those kids. 
And their little dog, too. And Zantac goes, rough. <laughs> Actually, if we'd chosen the wind uh, uh, summon beast, uh, that would have been uh, opportune. But unfortunately, I did not choose him. The one with the guardian beast. He's the son of Mr. Hero. The other is the son of the man who couldn't become a craft lord. What did you say? Ah, I struck a nerve, have I? That loser didn't have what it takes to be a craft lord, and instead that he had chose to hide his shame of such over money. Uh-oh, what a coincidence. He names his organization the Gold Guild. Sad, it's pathetic. You shut up. He came to me the other day and asked if I wanted to buy swords in bulk. Has that serious discount, of course. And did you buy them? Yes, of course I did. Militaries don't iron themselves. With Shinitsu swords and those from your father, I can't fail. I also have to thank you as well. Just you. Hold on there. You'll be fighting my soldiers, not me. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can use magic to hit you. What? You cowardly bastard. I forgot this game said that. <laughs> uh, cowardly? No, it's just an ingenious strategy. Oh, wait. Well, the bastard sword. Anyway. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> He's slowly getting away. We can't stop him now. Lubert. We won't let your kids get away. Bring it on. You know, you guys feel really bad when kids beat your butts, right? I'm so angry. None of you will stand in my way. I won't be defeated anytime soon. Anyway, it's boss time against the soldiers. They basically play like before uh, the last time we fought them. But they got 1,250 HP, 125 durability. And we don't have to worry about um, uh, fighting. Or we don't have to worry about breaking his weapon. So really the way to work with him is, uh, whoop, is uh, combo guard, combo guard, combo guard. You know, that type of thing. But yeah, I'm not trying to break his weapon. There's no point. You don't get anything from it. So, I just want to do damage to him. Oop. I guess I could switch my sword. It's a, it's better for comboing. Yeah, they're not too hard. Actually, maybe I should be trying to defeat the enemies with different weapons, because he has a different pose every time he defeats certain bosses or certain weapons, or enemies, but anyway. Yeah, got quite a bit from that, so yeah, nothing, nothing extreme from him. So he is strong. Retreat, run away. Where Spain, France, doesn't matter. Run away. So, of course, I'm strong, imbecile. Lupert is just using you as his puppets. Come on, get to Lupert. We're going back to the ducks. Yes. Wait, I get to go, Lupert. Why can't we just work together? This way, move it. They're coming up the stairs. Uh oh. Look, they're coming down the stairs too. This isn't fun anymore. It was fun to begin with. They're coming. What are we gonna do? Star. There's no time to deal with them. I'm going to try and stop them here. Why don't you two try to find a secret passage or something? How do you know there's a secret package here? There could be nothing. There could be just like Buckus, you know, a Cracker Jack box with nothing inside of it or something like that. Anyway, I know you're good at that. Okay, I'll do it. All right. I'll hold them up here. You go find if there's another way out of here. All right. Well, what's this? Well, okay, I'll just skip it. That was kind of that was kind of inappropriate, huh? If I use this pipe, I may be able to get down. Zantec, we can probably get down from here. Star. I'll be. It'll be okay. Hey, Veril, I found a way. Well, you'll be fine for for you, Zantec, because you can float. Yeah? Yes, I'll go first. Wait, what? That doesn't even... Alright, whatever. Let's go, Zantac. Hey, wait. Yeah, it's just a big old pipe thing. Or, uh... A, uh it's like a Batman slide. You know, in the original Batman series. Whew, we got out of here. Or there. Star! Okay, let's go catch Lubert. I right, probably actually a good time to save it again. Not that it's required uh, for this one. You can find another way to, to do this, but I want to see if I can get uh, break his weapon. I mean, who, whoever we fight. I don't, I don't know who we're going to fight. Uh, who knows? Who knows what we're doing? Look, Vera is... Oh, Claire... Uh, oh, oh, Claire, don't worry. I can handle it from here by myself. Where's where's uh, um, the craft word himself? Star? Huh? Do you sense er energy emanating from this box? Oh, I thought he was hiding in the box. <laughs> Uh, well, 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 we meet again. Master Lubert. 
Why do you call him master? That show is a sign of respect. I don't think you respect him, right? Damn useless soldiers! They couldn't even manage to beat these children! What is a JRPG? Children are clearly stronger than, than uh, 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 adults, for whatever reason. Why are you doing this? This is madness! This is Sparta! I thought all the craft words were good people. Are you really planning on allying yourself with the Deglians? Ha! Huh, you're too soft-hearted, too innocent. The hero Shinetsu's son is the same as his father. Yes, this is a great opportunity. I'll teach you how strong a craft warrior can be. Although, when the lesson's over, your spirit won't be in this world any longer. Kleru, I'll take care of him. I can do it, Beryl. Leave him to me. Kleru. Okay, I understand. I'll let you beat this slimy creep. Rip his, rip his stupid eel mustache off. Yeah, you can barely tell, but he has a mustache, by the way. It's just the same color as his skin. So, it's, Well, it's pencil thin, so you can barely see it. But Shut up, little boy. Black Spirit, I summon thee for the nether dimension! Uh-oh. Now then, I'm gonna punish you one at a time! You can't beat me. I can't lose to an evil menace like you. For boss time, against Lubert himself. So, Lubert is got 13, 1350 HP, 120 durability, and he has his um, uh, spirit uh, guardian that he can summon to uh, buff himself up as well as cast spells. The thing about him, he's actually really fast. And he actually uses his drill weapon. What? Yeah, so what we need to do is that, uh, yeah, now you can actually see his uh, mustache a bit more. So what we need to do is like with Rexa. Oof. Oh, yeah, his uh, his drill attack sucks. Yeah, we just gotta get him in the corner and drill him. I might not be able to get his, uh, um, I might not be able to break his weapon. We'll see what happens though. Yeah, see, my, it's really hard to break his weapon. It's not required, though. Like I said, there's another opportunity to um, break his weapon. So if I don't do it for some reason, it's not that big of a deal. I was just hoping I'd be able to get to it at this point. I guess I could have equipped the, the ladle. Uh, that would have helped me, because uh, I would have... Yeah, unfortunately, he does, uh, whenever he charges you, he does like a ton of damage. The ladle probably would have made it easier to, to do this, actually, because it's weaker, and it does about the same... It about, has about the same effect as a... Uh, um, uh, the uh, drill does when it comes to breaking weapons and it's really weak too luckily him using his weapon drains it so me purposely getting hit actually isn't a bad idea there he goes he's gonna hit me with this uh, lightning attack yeah he's similar to Zantec, so and I can heal quite a few times I might actually purposely let him hit me to weaken his weapon I had to be careful though I do have a lot of ways to heal myself so it's not like but, uh, yeah, I might be able to do it, actually. If I can just let him... No, I don't want you casting magic, dude. Not anymore. Oh, we're, we are really close. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Did he just flip me off? No, he's, he's just going, R. Anyway, we broke his weapon. Then we get his uh, drill technique for doing it. Yes, I did it! Good job, Clairu. You won. Thanks, but you did a lot too. You just sat there in the background. No, I can't believe it. What happened? I'm a craft lord. Stop making a fool of yourself, Master Lubert. There you are. I was wondering where you were, Sakura. Just as, uh, just who was trying to end his career as a craft lord and join the Deglians? Master Sakura. Star. You noticed it too, didn't you? Yes, the thing inside there is something that you're familiar with. What is it? Master Lubert, why don't you tell them yourself? Ah. Go on. Dot, dot, dot. Very well. Now listen closely, little ones. Inside that crate is a small part of the fire spirit. Parista, the holy spirit of the city of swords. What the? How is that possible, actually? What? Deglia intends to use Parista's power to fight wars all across the world. They need this piece of flame for the research and experimentation to see if Parista can be controlled. And were you just going to give it to them? Yes, I was. That's enough, Lubert. You're going on trial for this in Weister, and the remaining craft wars will determine your fate. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Did you also accuse Arexa of that? You were the one who goaded Arexa into doing it. Yes, I was. He performed his task very well. He was easily persuaded. After I told him that he could have revenge for his sister's illness. <laughs> Don't insult Master Rexa. Except he was kind of an idiot. 
<laughs> huh? I said, don't insult Master Rexa. He may have made some bad decisions, like the one where he jumped off the tower, but he's still a hero to Rumari. That's a profoundly ironic thing to say. A hero? A hero, Craftward? There's no point. You can't make money being heroic. For all that danger, what do you get? Fame? Huh? You can't spend that. You... No, Vero. But he... He dishonored my father and Clover's father. And Erexa as well. I understand, but still, stay back. Huh? <laughs> what the... What? Whoa! Er, whoa! Watch out! Er, watch out! Ah! Sakura! Blooper! Ooh! Oh, he's gone. What the? That's a, that's a chonky boy if I've ever seen one. This is... Star! <laughs> Are you okay, Sakura? Mr. Sakura, Veril. Yeah, it was like they got hit by crates and Lubert looks like he was taken out, so, you know, permanently. I'm okay, I twisted my ankle a little bit, but Sakura has protected me and I I'm fine. That's my dad's sword. Don't worry, this piece of holy father from Parista cannot harm us as long as we have the sword. That's how it's supposed to go, anyway. Wait, you don't know for sure? I'll finish him now. You guys stay away. You're hurt, you won't be able to fight. I'll do it, Master Sakura. Beryl, you're hurt as well. I, I'll... You're not in great shape either. You just fought Master Lupert. Don't be fools. You, we can get away. There's no way we'll be able to escape. We need to take this thing on here and now. I'm going to defeat him. For boss time against Parista, the Holy Spirit. I don't know how much HP he has. He has quite a bit of HP. So, what we want to do is he has three different moves uh, on him. He has got a flamethrower that can charge up uh, when uh, when he does it, his spines will flare up. Um, and then he has a short lick and a gut chomp. So the best way to fight him is to run in, get a couple of drill shots on him, and then, uh, whoop, back up. Yeah, we don't, oh wait, I forgot the flamethrower I can. It's the, uh, it's his gut chomp that, whoop. yeah, that's the one I have to worry about. Whoo, look at that thing. I have to heal, actually. For some reason, I thought I could get under the flamethrower. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, it does a lot of damage if it hits. Yeah, the tongue one is kind of one of those ones I'm really bad about. Oh, really bad about avoiding. Usually, it's just better just to block it if you can. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, I don't want to be bitten by that, even if I can block it. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think if, yeah, it's, if you're right under him, you can avoid the flamethrower. I thought you could. I was, like, wondering for a second. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I could avoid the flamethrower. But anyway, we got him. Just drill, drill the crap out of him. All right. We did it. We beat the Holy Spirit that, oh, dear. Man, we get a level up for Clairu and Zantac. And you learn Mega Voltage. All right. Um, do I want to keep pumping into attack? I think at this point, I think I can just start pumping things into attack. I think I'm good on agility for the rest of the game. I want to compliment you, but you were overconfident. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to lecture you here. Let's leave before more soldiers arrive. Is Lupert still alive? I don't know. I, I doubt it. Dot, dot, dot. I see. Okay, let's get going. We'll be able to escape in all the confusion here at the docks. Whew, boy. I probably could have taken less damage from, from that guy, but oh well. You both you both did well. It's regrettable what happened to Master Luber, but nobody's secretly in league with the Diglings anymore. We can relax a little. So the game's over? We've solved the mystery? Use this time to get restored. I was so proud when you guys challenged and fought Master Lubert for Rex's reputation. As a Rex's friend, I want to thank you for standing up for his good name. Yes. Don't mention it. By the way, what are we going to do with Verista? But don't concern yourselves with that. The craft words will take care of it. I see. That is all. Oh, and I'll be returning Master Shinetsu's sword to Lady Amaris. Do you think that's the right thing to do? Are you sure it's wise that if my mom keeps the sword? Sure, I don't foresee any problems. Not the Daglians, not anyone else. Okay. Don't 
Don't worry about it. Like I said, the craft lords are going to take care of this Parista issue. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, th okay then. I guess I'll go home. See you, Clairu. See you later. Whew, what a day. And time for rest and relaxation. Ah, so much is going on. I'm tired. Star. Huh? Should I go for a walk? We've been doing it every day since the beginning of the game. Sure, why not? Star. Your sensor is telling you what I need? That's a really nifty sensor you have there. Yeah, I was planning on it anyway. I'm going for a walk. I won't be able to have any time for myself because of the upcoming semi-final. I should relax as much as I can now. Star. Alright, and we can choose uh, one person. Let's keep going with Razzie. I'll go to the central tower. Maybe we can cover, kind of go up with this whole, you know, awkward situation of me thinking you're a boy the whole time, so sorry about that. Hey, big bro. What? I wonder if guys can get uh, can get married with other guys. Get married? Are you sure you didn't say marry or get married? I know what you're asking, though. Huh? Marry? Oops, I meant married. Can guys marry guys? Well, it depends on... Depends on your definition, depends on where you live. I'm not going to get in that situation. Why are you asking me about that? Did anyone ask you about that? No, no, it's not like that. Oh, Razzy, have you fallen in love? This conversation doesn't work because we know this conversation can only happen after a certain point, and we know Razzy's a, a girl. So, why would you ask if another... Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. And you're worried that you're boyish? Yeah. And big bro, I have something that I want to show you. What is it? Not now. Tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow. I'll come and get you when I'm ready. Wait for me at your workshop, okay? Get it? Yeah, I see. I see. Okay, bye, big bro. Yeah, clear, clearly dense main character doesn't realize that perhaps the, you know, some, some, someone might like him. But what does Razzie have to tell us? What awaits us today in the semifinals? Who we have to fight? Well, find out next time in the next episode of Summon Night, A Swordcraft Story. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.